Oh my gosh. Um, oh my gosh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Hey guys, Operator Juski here, and today we have a lineup of Nados and CSAT's new vehicles in Arma 3 Apex. I've already tested them out, and they are insane, so I'm going to show you them today, and today we're going to be looking at the UAVs first. Although I cannot really access the UAVs at the moment, I'm just going to kind of give you a circle of them. This one from the CSAT faction looks a lot more streamlined, looks a lot smaller than the current UAVs, probably a lot quieter as well as what I'm expecting, going to be a stealth type of fighter. Uh, but this one has Hellfire missiles on the sides, it looks like four to be exact. And and then the NATO version packs a little bit more of a punch, but it's a helicopter variant. I expect this to be a little bit louder because helicopters are usually a little bit louder than propellers. Yeah, that's a propeller, uh, you know, stock. Um, so this is the Falcon on the NATO side, and this has three Hellfires as well as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Uh, it looks like 12, so that adds up to 24 Dagger Hydra missiles on the sides, which is going to be absolutely destructive. That thing looks awesome. I mean, the, good job to the modeling artists. If they're watching this, you guys did a really good job on a lot of these vehicles. There's also the new Light Strike vehicles, which I'm going to show you this one, and then I'm going to show you the CSAT one over there. Uh, this is the NATO LSV. This is the, called the Prowler, and this is absolutely awesome. As you can see, there's a little horn button there. Beep! It's awesome. We're going to drive this around for a second, just to show you guys how it kind of handles. I'm purposely doing that. I'm purposely... I think earlier I almost tipped it. But as you can see, the acceleration is pretty quick. And I think that's what's going to help with this vehicle, is that... Whenever you're needing to go up a mountain or something, this is going to be a really lightweight vehicle that doesn't take much time to go up that mountain. And it also has a very well-balanced uh, suspension as well as what I'm telling right now compared to something like a Hunter or an Ifrit. It also has a tighter turning radius, which is pretty cool. So currently, you can't actually access the guns on the top or bottom. They, they don't really work, so we're gonna, I'm just going to show you that right now. But there is an M249 in the seat in front of us. <laughs> there is an M249 in the right seat there, and there is an HMG in the top, which this is in dev branch right now, so they're not functional at the moment, where we're just going to hop in and see if we can get to the uh, gunner seat. So this is the view you get from the gunner seat right now. It's kind of bugged at the moment because the vehicles aren't the the, uh, the oh it dropped me too. Um, the weapons aren't set up yet, but yeah, that is the new light strike vehicles on the NATO side. We're gonna go check out the CSAT side now. These honestly even look cooler than those. Those look very NATO-y. They have those big blocky, you know, just realistic things. And then the CSAT side has these very futuristic Jurassic Park looking cars and have these really cool doors as well as look at the inside. Like, how good of 3D modelists do you have to have? Because look at this. The driver seat is in front of all the rest. That is a, like, signifying thing of the NATO faction that's been in the Ifrits since, like, a super long time ago. And so we're going to check this out. Maybe the minigun on top of this works. I'm not really exactly sure. Gunner seat. Oh, the gun. Oh, man. We have a, we have a functional minigun. So that is the minigun on top of the little tiny LSV here. And what is this called? This is called the Quinlan. That is a cool vehicle. Um, both versions have six seats in the unarmed, and both versions have four seats in the armed variant. So, actually, let me check the armed variant. I think this has... No, the armed variant in this has all six seats, I think. Let me check the back, see if I can sit in this seat. Okay, so the Quinlan actually has more seats. One, two, three, four, five, six in the armed variant, while I think in the armed variant in this, this has five seats. Let's check this. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this has, sorry, that has six in the armed variant. This has four. Interesting. So there's a little bit of balance there. You can probably tell that they probably armed this up a little bit more, so they're making that a little bit more transporty. And that's exactly what happened to the VTOLs as well. This beauty is the new Y32 Xeon VTOL. This thing is crazy. It has a 30 millimeter, if I'm correct, cannon in the front. Let's check that. Yeah, a 30 millimeter cannon in the front. Um, we'll fly it in a second. But then it also has, I think, how many of that daggers there are, and also a lot of Hellfire missiles, eight on both, or no, eight, uh, four on both sides, sorry. So we're going to fly this for a second, just give you guys a little tour. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have not flown this yet. Wow, this thing is loud. This is cool, though. 
Oh, look at the... Whoa, the propellers. That is insane. That is insane. We're going to put the gears up. We're going to take this for a small little flight right now. What's cool about these is that you can land them um, in both fixed wing and helicopter mode, is what I really call it. It's, it's supposed to be vertical takeoff or just normal takeoff mode. But uh, you, can, you can fly them in both modes, which is really cool. So we're going to take auto hover off so we start flying like a plane. These jet engines in the back will slowly start to turn towards our rear and enable us to fly like a jet. And so now we're flying like a plane. We're actually going plus um, above three, like 400 kilometers an hour right now, which is absolutely insane. As you can see, the propellers on the top are actually helping us kind of make those tight turns too. Awesome design here by Bohemian Interactive. Really impressed by this. And we're gonna t we're gonna try a landing. We're gonna try a landing. I'm not using track IR at all at the moment, so I'm just flying in third person, being a little you know keyboard and mouse peasant I am. But uh. We'll, we'll do some track IR footage later on, maybe in a live stream or something. As you can see, look at that. That's how the rudders work. You see how it's spinning the aircraft by putting one of the little propellers, I don't even know what to call those, propellers to the left and one leaning to the right. That's awesome. And that's actually it's turning me around right now, which is crazy. We've really never seen anything like this in an Arma 3 game, in an Arma game before. The flight model is similar to the MV-22, actually, which is kind of cool. I can't really spin as well without leaning the other way. Okay, there we go. Landed right about where we started. So that is how easy it is just to fly these new VTOLs. And what's really cool about the American VTOLs, oh, by the way, there are a lot of CTRG reskins of current vehicles. So there are CTRG hunters, there are CTRG helicopters of like ghost talks and such. So just note that this CTRG camo that's not usually on these vehicles, there's also versions of these all these vehicles that have CTRG camos on them. Uh, so let's see which version this is. Okay, this is the armed version. So this has a 762 minigun. It has, I think, a 40 millimeter cannon, and it has a 120 millimeter, uh, pretty much mini nuke launcher. This thing is just destructive. We're gonna fire it right now, if we can get in. I don't think we can fire the minigun at the moment, but we can fire this cannon. There's a little, a little, uh, shot for us right there of this cannon's crosshairs. As you can see, gigantic blast. And when we actually fire this. It actually fires out and pushes the aircraft around. Watch. It actually slightly shoves the aircraft to the side, which is just insane. Oh, you can actually... Okay, so you can actually shoot the cannon from this big cannon. Uh, so there's the... Oh, it's not a... Sorry, that is not a 7.62. That is a 20 millimeter uh, minigun on the side. And it shoots HE rounds, which is cool. Uh, we also have, I think... Yeah. Look at that, that's insane. Okay, so right gunner seat controls the uh, standard 40 millimeter cannon. This has AP and GRT, GPRT rounds. I think the GPRTs are high explosive type of rounds, fragmentation, etc. And the APS, APFSS, DS, whatever, blah, 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 are uh, armor piercing. So these are taking out vehicles. As you can see, one shot can take out a light strike vehicle in seconds. Ow, I need to actually heal myself after that. Um, but then the... Uh, black fish on this side is not the variant over there. This is the unarmed, but this is the troop transport. And I think you can transport like tons and tons of guys in these. Can't seem to open the back at the moment, but we probably can in a second. But as you can see, we have how many seats? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it looks like we can hold about 40 people in the back of a single aircraft. That is insane. And there's also vehicle carriers. So you can actually put these light strike vehicles into a version of this that carries vehicles, and it actually works. Let's actually see if that works right now. I'm not exactly sure if it will. How we access these, we have to go to planes and then vehicle transport version. Uh, I don't know exactly how it works, but we'll try to shove a LSV. Sorry, is that what they're called? LSVs? Into the back of one of these blackfishes. Blackfish eye. I don't really know how to say it. Okay, so I don't think I don't think they have the open ramp available at the moment, but if you get into this, like with the let's say just the Zeus camera, you can actually see the inside of this is empty, ready for a vehicle to go in. So guys, that is the new vehicles of Armor 3 Apex. I'll also be covering the new gear, which is pretty interesting. Let me give you just a little heads up of that. Yeah, um, I'll also be covering the gear of 
uh, the new soldiers now and all of the stuff that they have, um, as well as the guns on them as well. This is totally awesome stuff. So guys, stay tuned for those in the future, and I will see you guys next time. Contact, man! 20 oh my god! Oh my god! Oh god!